This video shows the use of a fighter instrument to measure pH. The fighter instrument was developed by Sunburst Sensors to provide a simple means of measuring pH of water samples in the field. All details of operation can be found in this paper accessible via the QR code. Fighter uses Metacrestle Purple Indicator to measure the pH. Metacrestle Purple appears yellowish in acid and purple in alkaline conditions. The transition point occurs at pH 8, which is ideally suited to that of seawater. The fighter instrument has two LED lights to assess the absorbance in the blue and yellow regions of the spectrum. The reading is first taken with seawater in the cuvette as a blank. The metacrestle purple indicator is added and a second reading taken. This information is transferred to a smartphone via a Bluetooth connection from where the pH is calculated. The fighter on off button, the small push button here, is a very small difference between the off position and the on position. The fighter needs to be on when making measurements or charging the battery or communicating with the iPhone for sending data. When not in use, make sure it's off and that way the battery will stay charged for several weeks. Before using fighter for the first time, we need to charge it up with a USB cable. Make sure you press the on button fully in and it takes a couple of hours or so to charge up and once charged up it will last uh, for quite a few measurements. The next thing you need to do is go to the app store and download the fighter program. So on first use this will say get or install. Once the fighter instrument is turned on click on the fighter app start scan click on the fighter when you first use your fighter you'll need to calibrate by pressing the settings button and then calibrate and you need to adjust these sliders to give a value somewhere between a thousand and three thousand five hundred with water in the sample both of these are in the two thousand so that's an ideal range and also check on the battery power this should be somewhere around 4 volts when it gets down to around 3.8 volts you'll need to recharge Enough. Before measuring the pH, we need to check the salinity. Carefully prepare a drop of liquid. Okay, and I see 35. That looks good. If required, you can change the salinity. Now we're ready to measure pH with the fighter. First, rinse the cell out three times with seawater to bring the cell to the correct temperature. And press measure background. Now we add three drops of the Metacrestle Purple Indicator. Invert the fighter three times to make sure the indicator is well mixed. After adding the indicator, Press measure pH and we have a pH of 7.92. You need to check the values of the instrument are in range. So scroll to the bottom of the screen. 
you want to make sure that the blank readings are between 1,000 and 3,500. The sample reading should be somewhat less because the light's being absorbed and that gives an absorbance reading that's significant, i.e. typically higher than about 0.1. The dark signal should be a small number, less than one. Uh, in sunlight, you need to keep your finger on top of the stopper hole and then the pH will be in a range typically for seawater between about 7.5 and 8.1. Sometimes you'll get a failed reading because there's something out of range. In this case the absorbance readings are too small and this reading is not high enough. So you can either change the settings or start with a fresh sample. Return to the program or press anywhere outside of the box. When you're ready to upload the data to some other source you hit the upload button and then you can either send to mail or send to Dropbox. The file from your smartphone transferred to a computer will be saved as a comma separated value file, .csv file, which we can open in Excel. Uh, the date column is too narrow, so we need to auto format column widths. So the latest measurement is on the top here and it reports the date, the time, salinity and the pH. Uh, if they're done in triplicate, you get multiple readings here. Also check on the temperature and also the blank signals and the sample signals and also the latitude and longitude of the measurement. The pH of seawater in the Monterey Bay can show quite large variations from the expected 8.1 of surface seawater. This is due to upwelling from the deep canyons which are just a few miles offshore. It can also arise from phytoplankton blooms or from large uh, hordes of feeding animals and birds. Tracking the pH to monitor ocean acidification due to climate change will therefore be a long-term event because of this large variation.